Hey guys, it's Jack Jack and welcome back. So today I wanted to do another swatch video for you guys just because not that these are super popular here on my channel, the views aren't like, I don't get crazy amount of views on these types of videos, but I like doing them because I find that they're, they could be very helpful for people looking to buy a product but trying to see what each shade looks like on real skin and sometimes not always will brands show that on their website and things like that or when you're out shopping in the stores you can't really see like in the bottle so I find that these videos can be very very helpful so that's why I like doing them again they don't get the best kind of views on my channel but that's not what I'm looking for I'm just trying to make helpful videos for you guys so that's what I'm gonna do today and if you notice my orange hands, it is not from any sort of self tanning. I actually don't tan at all. It's from my orange hair. <laughs> I posted on Snapchat or Instagram stories, or both actually. I posted that I went swimming in the pool for the first time with my orange hair. Like, I've had orange hair for like over a year now, but it was my first time actually going into a pool and it totally ruined my orange hair. So I needed to recover and save it with a little bit of overtone and that is why my hands are orange, but my hair is a nice vibrant orange again, so we are good to go. I got this gigantic PR package from Too Faced Cosmetics. I can't even pick it up for you guys. It is very, very heavy and it's very, very bulky, but it is the Born This Way Foundation Collection, which is a foundation I've used before in the past, but the reason they sent this out is because along with their staple foundation shades that they already had, they included more shades so that it's inclusive for everybody. So I wanted to do swatches of every shade on my cheek for you guys so that way you can see what it looks like on actual skin and that way it can help you decide which shade you would be. So I challenge you guys right now to watch this video and then leave a comment down below which shade do you think would best represent your skin tone? Like which one do you think would match you best? So I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking and we're gonna go ahead and jump on into the video. So I have the first four lightest shades here on my little palette. So let's go ahead and get to swatching. Now here's a close up of all the swatches and we'll go one by one now. So starting with Cloud, this is the lightest shade in the entire collection and it does have a rosy undertone to it. And then next we have the shade Swan and this is the lightest neutral color. So it's a balance of rosy and golden undertones. And then moving on to Snow, it's another fair foundation with the rosy pink undertones to it. And with the last swatch over here, we have Ivory, which is the fairest golden shade. So it has more peachy yellow undertones. Now moving on to the next four shades. I have them here on my palette. So let's get to swatching. And now moving on to the next set of swatches, starting with Almond, which is a fair golden toned foundation. And then we have Seashell, which is a very fair rosy toned foundation, so it has that little bit of red undertones to it. And then we have Pearl, which is a very fair neutral to rosy. So it has the neutral undertones, but it's slightly rosy at the same time. And then lastly, we have Porcelain, which is a very light neutral. So it has a balance of the rosy and golden tones. The next three shades we have are Vanilla, Nude, and Warm Nude. Next we have Vanilla, which is a fair neutral tone foundation. Next to that we have Nude, which is a very light rosy toned foundation, so you can see those pink undertones peeking through. And then lastly we have the Warm Nude, which is a very light, I would say like neutral, but a little more golden toned foundation shade. Next we have Golden Beige, Light Beige, and Natural Beige. Now we have golden beige and just like the name, this has golden undertones, so yellowy golden undertones to it. 
And then light beige is a light neutral tone, so it's a mix of the yellow and pink tones together. And then we have natural beige, which is actually the foundation shade I've been wearing lately, and this is a light medium neutral tone foundation. And now we have medium beige, which is a medium neutral tone foundation. And I feel like I can kind of get away with wearing this shade as well. And then we have sand, which is a medium golden. So it has the warmer undertones to it. I also feel like I could wear this one too. And then we have golden, which is a medium rosy tone. So this one has more pinky undertones to it. Now we have Praline, which is a medium tan golden tone foundation, so it's warmer. And then we have Warm Sand next to that, which is a tan golden tone foundation. So again, still a warm tone foundation. And then we have Honey over here at the end, which is a tan neutral tone foundation. So it's a mix of the warm and pink undertones. Caramel is a rich tan neutral tone foundation. And then next to that we have Brulee, which is a rich tan golden foundation. So it's a very warm tone. And then next to that we have a Mocha, which is a rich tan rosy one. So we have more of the pink tones on this Mocha shade. For Butter Pecan, this is the richest tan shade and it has golden undertones to it. In the middle here we have Maple, which is a deep neutral tone foundation. And then this shade Chestnut on the end is a deep neutral to golden tone foundation. Now for the shade Chai, this is a deep golden tone foundation shade. And then we have Mahogany, which is a very deep golden tone foundation shade. And then lastly on the end we have Spiced Rum, which is a very deep rosy foundation. So it has more of the pinky undertones. For Hazelnut, this is the deepest rosy shade, so has those pink undertones. And then Tiramisu is the deepest golden shade, so it has the more warmer tones to it. And then Coco is the deepest neutral tone, so there's a nice balance between the warm and pink tones. And finally, we have the three darkest shades in this foundation range. So we have Sable, Truffle, and Ganache. So let's swatch them. For Sable, this is a rich rosy tone foundation shade, and then Truffle is a rich golden one. So as you can see, it's a lot warmer than the Sable shade. And then lastly for Ganache, this is a rich neutral tone, so there's that nice balance, and this is the darkest shade in the entire collection. And in this PR package that Too Faced sent me, they also sent their setting powders as well. So we have Translucent, Medium, and Deep. Oops, I have these mixed up translucent medium and deep so I thought I would swatch those for you guys as well so you can get an idea of how these powders look so I'm gonna take the translucent one just on my finger and place this right here on my cheek and kind of like halfway semi blend it so you can see what it looks like obviously you can blend this in a lot more and it's gonna look better if you use the proper tools but just wanted to give you guys kind of an idea next we have the medium shade here Again, I'm just gonna take some on my finger. That might be kind of hard to see on camera because it's the closest to my skin tone, but just like 
kind of half blended there is what the medium color looks like and then finally we have deep and there is what deep looks like kind of like half blended out so that just gives you an idea of what the powders look like so that's it for this video I hope you guys found it helpful again let me know in the comments which shade do you think works best for your skin tone and I'll see you guys in the next video bye